In this video, I'm gonna show you what's happening when Premiere Pro is cropping your video. So here I have some stock footage of a golfer. I'm gonna go ahead and drag it in to my timeline. And as I can see, you know, if I double click on it and I preview it here, um, I can see that there's much more going on. The frame size is bigger um, than when I am in this timeline. Now, one thing to do is go ahead and select the zoom level to fit. Sometimes you can be, you know, at a previewing it at a zoom level of 400 and it looks, you know, extremely cropped or not right. So that's number one. You can go ahead and select fit. Secondly, the issue here is the frame size. All right. And the sequence size of this sequence. All right. So we want to come up to sequence settings. We can come up to the top file menu, select sequence settings, and we can go ahead and take a look at what the frame size is of our sequence. Now you want this to match the frame size of your footage. So in this case, this stock footage that I downloaded is actually in 4K, which would be 3840 by 2160. Now sometimes if you're shooting off an iPhone, for example, that would be frame size of 1080 by 1920. And you want to make sure that that's changed. Select your square pixel aspect ratio to one, click OK. And it's going to say that these changes are going to affect the timeline. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and press OK. And as you can see, now our video is no longer cropped. All right. What's important, though, is you do select the sequence size to match, you know, your frame size of your footage. So you can click on any footage that you have if you're not sure. You're going to want to select properties. And then it will show you right here image size, in this case, 3840 by 2160. Another thing that you can do is you can highlight whichever clips you know you would like to right click and go ahead and press scale to frame size. That will sometimes take your footage if you want to maintain your sequence setting and it will adjust you know the footage so that it fits within the sequence. You can also press set to frame size and just play with it. Of course, if you have a weird sequence setting um, or a weird size video that you've filmed or stock footage that you're working off of one of these options i'm hoping is going to help you so thanks for watching and drop all of your questions in the comment section below